Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Polygon Matic whose current price stands at the 0.7582 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 0.88% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the Elliott waves and the Fibonacci and also the key areas of support and resistances so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around to the end of the video and I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart. Polygon Matic from the all-time high has been seeing no prices in this massive ABC correction, which has now taken us back to around the $0.32 mark. And having done so, I believe it has done the minimum that we expected it to do in its ABC correction. And soon we might see a very nice bounce to the upside in this ADO2 structure, having our 5 taking us back to an all-time high. But before we get to an all-time high, we first need to see a first wave to the upside. And I believe that is the movement that we are seeing here on the polygon matic chart and if i jump to the 4 hour chart so that we can see this better within a wave one we also expect to see a fractal wave information within a wave one and that fractal wave once we see the formation of our wave five over here that will be completing a higher edit wave count one and if i get a little bit into the details of the formation of this fractal wave so that it can also give me the key scenarios that i expect to play out on this chart after making a low down here at around the 0.32 dollar mark we saw a very nice bounce to the upside and made a high for that first wave to the upside then so a very nice retracement over here in the formation of our wave 2 and using the Fibonacci we can get a minimum target area for that second wave retracement between the Fib level 0.382 and the Fib level 0.618 and you can see we retraced into that target area then so a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of a third wave which I had a target area here on the charts at around the 0.93 dollar mark which I was basing on the trend based Fibonacci connecting them from the low of the wave wave 1 to the high of the wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the wave 2 that gave me a minimum target area for that that wave to the upside and you can see polygon matic continue to respect that and initially here on the charts i had my wave 3 high as this high at around the 1.02 dollar mark and whatever we saw over here was a retracement to the lower side in the formation of a wave 4 that is what i initially expected here on the charts but the moment we managed to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.95 dollar mark and made a new high at around the 1.06 dollar mark that made me to change scenarios having the new high as the high for that that wave to the upside and whatever we are seeing over here is the formation of our wave 4 to the lower side and i expect another move to the upside in the formation of our wave 5 to complete a higher edge to wave count one our wave 4 is a retracement of the third wave and using the fibonacci we can also get a target area for that fourth wave to the lower side by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the wave 3 to the high of the wave 3 that gives me a minimum target area for that fourth wave to the lower side between the Fib level 0.382 and the Fib level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on, here on the charts like that and that is the minimum retracement area for that fourth wave to the lower side and you can see we have continued seeing no prices and now we are trading within this yellow target area for that fourth wave to the lower side and because our wave 4 is a corrective wave we also expect to see an ABC corrective movement over here in this movement right here we also saw the formation of a, of a channel and if I draw out that channel over here we can have it like that having more than three touch points and you can see we saw a breakout out of that channel to the lower side and we have continued seeing lower prices we also had a retest of the lower part of the channel and also lost the key area of support at around the 0.78 dollar mark and after losing that key area of support we have continued pushing lower and made a new low at around the 0.7872 dollar mark and because our wave 4 is a corrective wave we also expect to see a nbc corrective movement within this wave 4 and i believe we are also seeing that having this as the wave a then a wave B, then a wave C, and that gives me the key scenarios that I expect to play out here on the Polygon Matic chart. We can either continue pushing a little bit lower to maximize our yellow target area in the formation of a fourth wave by going back to around the $0.66 dollar mark. In case that happens, then I would expect a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of our wave 5. And within our wave 5, I will also expect to see fractal waves in formation within our wave 5. That is a 5 wave structure to complete a higher edge to wave count 5. 
and also a high idea to have count one so let's be patient and see how that plays out it's also possible that maybe the low is now in at around the 0.72 dollar mark for that fourth wave because you can see we have retraced into our target area and made a new low below the low for that wave a and that means maybe the low is in at around the 0.72 dollar mark and soon we might see a reversal over here manage to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.78 dollar mark have a retest of that key area of resistance then continue pushing higher and also see the formation of a five wave structure to complete a higher idea to wave count count one and because we have the high for that third wave and also the high for the first wave we can get a minimum target area for the fifth wave to the upside and that is the minimum target area for the higher idea to wave count one and i just need to use the fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the wave one to the high of the wave one then drag the fibs to the high of the wave three the minimum target area for the first wave to the upside is at around the 0.618 fib level and that is at around the 1.2487 dollar mark so in case we see a reversal to the upside and continue pushing higher i would expect us to complete the formation of a wave one by pushing higher to around the 1.2487 dollar mark so let's be patient and see how that plays out we also need to have invalidation points here on this chart because this is an idiot wave structure and the only time we can invalidate this movement to the upside is in case our wave 4 over here retraces into the high of that first wave and we made our high for the first wave at around the 0.62 dollar mark so in case in this movement over here we continue pushing lower and get back to around the 0.62 dollar mark then that will be invalidated dating my edu wave structure and i'll have to look at this movement in a different way so let's be patient and see how that plays out also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 36 mark and that means we have massive room for us to support any movement to the upside in the formation of our wave 5 and also any movement to the door side to maximize our yellow target area in the formation of our wave 4 also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices could be coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated